Howdy, my name's Billy. I'm one of the librarians at Lone Star North Harris Library, and today I'm going to be showing you some different ways to make foldable zines. If you have plenty of time on your hands and aren't making very many, you can always try one of the more advanced binding methods we'll show you later. For example, uh, using uh, thread to bind uh, your zine. But if you have to make a lot and you don't have much time, folding zines are the way to go. The easiest fold type is to just take a piece of paper and fold it in half. The cool thing about this is it's really easy to assemble. All you have to do is unfold your pages, put them into the copy machine, and make your copies. If you go to a copy center, some copy machines may actually be able to fold and staple for you. So it'll actually do the fold and then do a staple binding for you. Um, if you're going to a copy center, uh, ask your attendant there, uh, ask the clerk there, uh, if they can help you, if their machines do that binding for you. That'll save you a lot of time having to fold up your zine. So another simple uh, fold technique is the little eight panel uh, fold technique. So you can remember, if you remember earlier uh, in our previous video, we showed you plant basics. And so this is just a little uh, eight panel like that. And all it is is uh, a folded sheet like that. And then uh, this is another one. This is a really bad DBZ. And then again, this is just a little uh, folded together, right? but you can put it back and it's uh, just, just like that. So let me show you how to do a little eight page Z. So first, for this you're gonna need a pair of scissors and you'll also need a letter sheet of paper. First, take your sheet of paper and fold it in half. And now we're gonna take our sheet of paper and we're gonna fold it into quarters. So now you have quarters. Now we're gonna take our sheet of paper and we're gonna fold it long ways. Fold it again. Now we're going to fold back on the half. I kind of like folding it back against the way that you did it before. And now we're going to cut down this line from the, the center crease here to that little point right there. So you should have something like this now. Now you can take it and fold it, and then we're going to fold it like this, and we're going to push it in like this. And there you go. You have your own little uh, eight uh, page zine. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you want to make something, if you want to give uh, people maybe a bonus panel, you can unfold it like that and you can have something on the back. So another uh, simple way to bind a zine is through something called a taco bind. Uh, so some people call this a taco bind, some people call this a taco burrito bind, uh, some people call it a burrito bind, it just depends. Um, the way this works is 
you're gonna make this one page here uh, sort of hold the other pages in place. And the way you do this, so for this you'll need several sheets of paper and a pair of scissors. So for the first sheet, you're going to fold it over in half. That. And then about an inch from each corner, you're going to cut out a notch. And then you're going to cut from notch to notch. So you're going to cut out that little piece there. Just like that. So you should have something like that now. Now for your other pages, we're gonna put that aside for a second. For your other pages, you have to sort of cut the opposite for them. So we're gonna fold this in half. Cut that out like that. So now you should have like that, with notches at the top and bottom. I'm gonna do one more here. So now, take that first sheet you had, You're going to take these two and you kind of fold them over and push them through and then unfold them like so. And if everything goes right, you now have your little Taco Bound zine like that. One important thing to consider when you're uh, making a lot of zines is how easy is it to uh, to bind. If you're doing, um, you know, if you're just doing five or ten, uh, doing a little hand stitch like this, that won't take too much time. But if you're doing uh, 20, 30, 50, um, then it's going to be difficult to do uh, to find the time to make those. So doing these little folds like this, this is a great way to make scenes uh, in a hurry. Fold it, fold it over, and if you push these two sides together, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, this ain't come out. <laughs> Oh. Uh.